Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another, um, you know, TCG Meta Game Breakdown video. It has been a while, but again, let's take a look. Past weekend with a couple of TCG tournaments, a couple of them being the Remote Duel Extravaganzas. So, the, probably the one of the last ones, right? Um, since we can expect our new ban list to release soon, somewhere early October. So, let's take a look. Let's zoom in into the first one. Again, huge shout out to Raiden Trade for the decklist. And of course, like always, Sven for the visuals. Again, amazing work. Fantastic. Um, the first one here from UK slash Ireland, right? A little over 60 players, so that, that that's that's okay. Um, any surprises? I think Altergeist, um, you know, kind of takes um, uh, the cake. If you look at the right side, the top eight brackets with um, three Altergeist deck lists. Um, that's different compared to the German speaking one. Show those lists within the next couple of moments, but um, yeah, I mean. Both these decks, <laughs> it says enough, both first place and second place, um, well, Geist, what can I say? Again, both deck lists are very similar, some small differences, but um, it's still Alter Geist, and it's still one of those decks that, even though it's, um, you know, pretty much... Um, um, you know, out of the radar, or you know, kind of vanished from the radar. It's still, um, it's still a superb deck. It's still very control based, right? That's the thing with um, with all the guys. So even though we can expect a new ban list, this deck is probably going to dodge it completely. Top four. Any surprises? I don't think so. Uh, quickly followed by, I guess, the best deck of the current format being Zodiac. Uh, well, Tri Brigade Zodiac. Um, Tri Brigade as a whole, but you know, the Zodiac package is still strong, trap heavy, as we've seen from um, past couple of weeks now. And then Virtual World, it's, um, I in my last TCG Meta Game Breakdown, I said the deck was underperforming, but I read uh, some of the comments and uh, someone said that it was um, underrepresented, and I kind of can agree, even though it's still strong. Um, the deck might feel a bit underrepresented compared to maybe a bit easier pick like uh, again Tribricate Zodiac right but uh, who knows the deck might get it on our next ban list top eight the last uh, altergeist player here on the left again no surprises I think while on the right side again the last um, you know Zodiac Tribricate player any surprises no probably not um, we've seen those lists before then uh, Tritron, finally, it has been a while. I've seen uh, Maran topping or ending up second place at the French um, Remote Tool Extravaganza. It was won by Prankets, by the way. So, no Prankets here, but uh, Tritron is still here. It's uh, probably one of the best decks, if not the best deck currently in the OCG. But here it's still missing something, or it's falling short a little bit behind compared to, let's say, Tri Brigade. Uh, right side again, Tribricate with the Imperial Order, again one of those cards that might get hit on our next TCG ban list. Then let's move on to the German speaking remote tool extravaganza, well Germany I guess. A um, little over 60 players, so again very similar, but a couple of decks again caught my attention. The breakdown is not too... Um, you know, different as to the UK one. So let's zoom in first place. I guess no surprise that, um, you know, Tri Brigade Zodiac taking this particular tournament. First place by Adel. Adel, hope I pronounce your name right again. Going for the trap heavy build with double talents and double troublets. 42 cards. That's an iffy one, but I guess it worked out. Right side, and that's, um, you know, it has been a while. Um, I, I should, you know, try this deck again. Infernal Knights. The last time I played this deck, uh, it was post ban list. You know, when it was like superb, uh, or, you know, considered being top tier. Um, it was heavily focused on like um, tokens, uh, Draco Sack. Um, you know, using um, the Aurora Dawn and special summon those. You know, Mega Phantom Beasts from the deck. Um, I should give it a try. Maybe this build, Plague Spreader. Yeah, we know why. Okay, so that's cool. Might give this one a try. So props, second place here. Left side, right side, top four, again, Tritron, top four here, while uh, in the UK one, top eight, but again, no surprises. Let's see how this deck is going to be formed post our ban list, if the deck is going to get hit. Mm, probably not, I don't know. Um, I don't see any hits, maybe no preparation of rights or something like that, probably not. Or Dragoon, yeah. Yeah, that might be the one. 
Right side, a couple of random picks here, uh, in case of the hand traps like Ash Blossom, DD Crow, uh, Triple Prosperity in the main deck, but that's pretty much it, right? No surprises there. Let's move on. Top 8, left side again, Virtual World again, like one or two Virtual World players seems pretty common nowadays, ending up top 8 here. Uh, Triple Fantasme, but other than that, no immediate surprises, I guess, in the main deck. Including the side deck, but right side. <laughs> Oh, this... Uh, <laughs> who wants to play against this? <laughs> like, how many traps? 32? 32 traps? Um, Eldritch the deck, Floodgates... Oh, oh man... <laughs> Let's move on. Prankets, left side. Uh, I think the only Prankets player here. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, uh, I don't have the deck list, but first place from the, the French Remote Tool Extravaganza. It was won by Prankets as well. So definitely keep an eye out for Prankets. Is the deck going to get hit on our next DCG ban list? Probably not. Seeing it in the OCG, it's kind of climbing in results. Also because, you know, the, the token cards, the... Ah, uh, you know which one I mean, the, not the hero cards, but you know which one I mean, like that small package with Griffin. Um, yeah, that, that's that's something, right? Definitely keep an eye out for Prankets, right? Side so Tribal Gates again, no surprise. Um, some extra lists, again, we, um, at least last weekend, there was also the Latin America um, uh, Remote Tool Invitational, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Ooh, the finals, like two titans, left side, Jose Lagunes, I know Jose, I met him at the World Championship back in 2014 in Italy, in Rimini, cool guy, and I believe he's also a YCS winner, was it Las Vegas, a couple of years ago, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but big name, big player, um, while, I mean, guy on the right side, Andres Torres, again, doesn't need an introduction, but I believe he, well, ah man, no, he's like the guy that like, picks up those, um, like, he, he can top with every deck, Thunder, Drytron, Zodiac, Drybigate, and so on and so on, um, second place this time, but it is what it is. Uh, some locals uh, results again some deck lists that caught my attention this was a cool one fifth place reminds me of uh, you know when chronomalis or chronomalis were revealed like some time ago weeks ago months ago at least their new wave of support was revealed and i tried them out with an emancipator and uh that's cool i might try out the deck again it's uh, not really focused on machumak but uh, i remember like, you know, Chronomalis getting like a huge trap, a big trap that can instantly go for that, uh, you know, exceed play during your opponent's turn. Their exceed negates monster effects, if I'm not mistaken. It has been a while. Triple field spell. Yeah, pretty much the same as I was running it back then. Next up, Heroes first place. Um, again, one of those decks that it's going to get more support really soon with that new Phoenix Enforcer, I believe the name is. But, I mean, you know that that particular card is a super splashable engine as it's, you know, being ran now in the OCG. Spirals again. Uh, shout out to Asian Persuasion for getting the list here. Fourth place. Um, any surprises? Well, yeah, other than, you know, it, it's, it's Spirals. Um, no, not really. I mean, on our next TCG ban list, we might see some spirals cards getting back, at least being you know put off of the list, seeing that um, the new Dark Magician support, you know, the is it the ritual that has the capability to search out magicians' souls? I believe so. So again, that's something to keep an eye out for. Definitely, you know, um, if you want to play the deck, get the cards now. The last one, ooh, this one is nice. The last two are Chung Double decks. There are some small differences between both these decks, but again, it has been a while when I last played like Chung Double deck. But uh, I personally was also playing it with like, um, I mean, obviously tuning, Synchro Overdrive, uh, I believe the card name is, um, and the Rocket Engine also, the first deck list is running that, while the other list isn't. So. But uh, yeah, you know how the deck works. Junk speeder and going for that uh, multiple synchros and, and potentially end on like a huge floodgate board. But I mean, it's still hard countered by those. Uh, I mean, a well timed Ash Blossom or Gamma could stop this deck in a tracks, even though it does have the capability to play like around some hand traps. But it's still a little bit weak, right? Or weaker compared to other deck lists. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for TCG Metagame Breakdown early September. I feel we can definitely expect, uh, or at least we are going into panelist season, I guess. Might do like a panelist prediction within the next couple of days or weeks. Um, yeah, I mean, are we going to expect a huge panelist? Probably, uh, 
I don't think so, but again, we get more support, new themes, a lot of new um, archetypes and sets are coming out like September, October, November, December. So yeah, you might see a big list because of that, right? Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.